In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily make prompt journals in Affinity Publisher. But before I do that, please do take a moment to like the video, subscribe to the channel and comment. It really does help me out. Thanks a lot. So here we are in the 6x9 line journal that we created in Affinity Publisher. One thing that we need before we start the prompt is a list of prompts. So this is just Excel. Um, prompts as a column heading and then put as many prompts as you, as you need down there. Um, save it and remember what the name is and where you saved it. So back in the affinity file itself, we only need the master and page one, two, and three. So we'll delete all of the others. So this is all we need to start. We're going to be putting the prompts in the master page and that'll ripple through the entire document, each page bringing up a new prompt. Before we do that, we've got to set it up. So the first thing to do is to go to Document, Data Merge Manager, click on Add Data Merge Source. I'll save mine and downloads. So that's in there now. It was 50 field, uh, sorry, 50 records with one field. The field was prompts. And I want to use all the records. You can change it just to use some. But I'm using all. And you can preview with record one. I'll keep that checked just so you can see what it's like. We're not going to mess with this yet. But we will later on. So now we've got a add the fields to the page and to do that when you go to view studio fields and as you can see it's linked to the um excel file that i showed prompts is the field heading and that is the first prompt now what we need to do is we need to create a text box where we want the prompt to appear and i want it to appear every um even page so start from page two and i want it in this top box here i'll turn the margins back on so we can see how much i've got to play with And then with the text box highlighted, just double click. And that's in there now. And as you can see, if we go to page two, that's what it's like. Now we can take a moment here to change the font size and change the font style. So I'll change it to Apple Boy. And as you can see, the font changes there. And when we check, it changes there. So this is how you start to add different um, looks to the book. Um, I will change it back though. Try Absalom. And again, we can change the font size. And you can see down there, it's changed. You've got to be wary that you don't exceed the text box. I don't need it that big though. And that's it, that's all the heavy lifting done. All we need to do now is go back to document, back to data merge, and on the merge pages. We only want to merge the data on the pages two and three, and then it'll repeat pages two and three all the way down until the until the prompts have been used, until it's gone through all 50 uh, 50 prompts that were stored in the Excel file. 
if we don't change this it'll just keep on repeating one two and three all the way down and it'll look a mess and then we'll click generate it'll take a couple of moments to generate i'll turn the um text flow box off and the margins and this is it this is your book you have a prompt there you have lined pages for people to fill in and because there was 50 prompts there should be 51 uh, sorry 101 pages yep so it's a double page for each prompt plus the title page and it's as simple as that you can replace plump uh, these sort of emotional mindfulness prompts in your excel file instead of having these you could have um joke setups and encourage people to finish off the joke you could have story prompt and encourage people to finish off the story i have a an idea which i will do soon and it's going to be one of those would you rather books but a solo version of it so i'd have the would you rather question here which would be here and then all of this double page is for the person to argue the pros and cons you know why they would choose that and once that's done file export in the normal manner let's do one continue all pages And this is it here this is what it looks like this is ready to upload into kdp there are other things you can do if you want you can go back to the master page and you can add um images which we have done before i'll try cactus So you can just add, add little embellishments. This will, of course, add it to every every odd page in the book. You could add your page numbers again. You could um, you can actually also in here if you had a pictures file. So we go. I'll just do it for the first one so this is a separate document i'll shut it down because i don't want it anymore um, um so we'll try the cat bundle So we need to copy the address the problem is really we need that up there as well but um it doesn't appear there probably will be a way to do it i just don't know how to yet i'll paste that in there and then i'll just edit it um cat3.png And then we'll save. Then we'll go back in here. If you make any changes to your spreadsheet, you go back to document, back to data merge manager, and then update. Now you can see it has two fields. And pictures has appeared there. So to add pictures, we go to picture frame. We'll put that there. We'll change the opacity down to 10 so it's not getting in the way of things. And then with the picture highlighted, double click. And now when I generate, if I had 50 of those, 50 addresses down there, 
when I run the meal merge, I will get um, different cuts. I will show you just by doing it. There will be a better way to um, to copy the full address and you could in earlier Windows. For some reason, Windows 10, I just don't know how to do it. So again, save. We will go to document, data merge manager, update. And now when we go to Data merge and generate. The first three pages should have cuts, which it does there. It's just a good way and a fun way to quickly create more unique planners. And because you've got all these files and prompts and pictures saved as an Excel file, you can change the layout. And then you've got another another book straight away. You could change it into a eight and a half by eleven. Just follow the same steps to get the the prompts and the pictures in, and you've got a brand new product to sell. And to get those prompts in, you know, it took us what a minute maybe to get it all sorted. Build on the database takes a little bit longer, but if you like me, you'll have word files of lists and prompts. And things like that just you know copy them put them in your excel file and you're, and you're ready to go so that is it for today's video you know just a, a simple quick one how to make prompt journals really simply really quickly really professionally and then you can add little embellishments it's not hard just takes a little bit of effort and it's you know again it's all about making your book the best it can be Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and like and comment on the videos. Thanks.